We see the mindset and the relationship change with Peter, 2 Peter 1 and 12. Watch what happens here. Therefore, I will always remind you about these things, even though you already know them and are standing firm in the truth you have been taught. And it is only right, verse 13, that I should keep on reminding you as long as I live. For our Lord Jesus Christ has shown me that I must soon leave this earthly life. That's the conversation me and Jesus had. So I will work hard to make sure you always remember these things after I'm gone. Basically, Peter got, got over the fear of dying because his relationship with God was, he made it clear, I'm dying. Jesus. And whatever God wants for me, I want to get it. Jesus. Does that make sense what I'm saying? Yeah. That's the level of his relationship. Second one is this, and we're done. The woman with the alabaster box. The relationship level of this woman, the Bible says this woman with an alabaster box comes and interrupts the meeting with Jesus. See, some of us got to be on the level that we watch this. Lord, I know you might be doing this, but I got to talk to you. Yes. See, my wife is on that level that watch this, that I'm talking. She can come in the room and say, hey, I need to talk to you real quick. Did you hear what I just said? All right. But if you ain't on that relationship with me, I'm going to tell you, hold on. You wait. I'm going to talk to you a little bit later. Hold on one second. But when Sister Garber will come, I don't know if she's telling me some news about Zoe. I don't know if she's telling me something that's tragic. So that means what I can do on that relationship level is sit there and say, hold on one second. What's going on? Uh -huh. that's right. I want to be on that level with Jesus. Yeah, right, yeah. That whatever's happening, yeah. I want to be able to interrupt and say, Jesus, I need to talk to you. Yeah. I need to talk to you right now. God, I need you to focus on me right now. Baby, baby. God, listen. This is me. This is me. This is me. This is the one that you love. I need you to focus right here. God, I know you might be doing this. You might be saving those in the Philippines and saving those in China. But this one right here in Bell Lake, you know me. You know the relationship we got. I need you to right here. I need your undivided attention. I need to interrupt some things. We need some help down here. I need you to do something, God. Is anybody on that level of relationship that you can interrupt God and ask God, God, I need your help. I need you to show up right now. I need you to help me. Are you on that relationship level? He says and lets us know this woman comes. She interrupts in the meeting that he's having. And what does she do? She takes out this alabaster box. This oil. Jesus. And in front of everybody without caring who's in the room. She starts pouring that oil on his feet. Starts wiping his feet with her hair and her tears. Jesus. Now many of us have been like, what is this woman doing? Watch this. When you are in a relationship and it's on a whole other level, you don't care. You don't care. You don't care about worshiping Jesus. She didn't care about who was in the room. She didn't even care about what they were saying. We know Jews was asking questions like, why is she doing all that? She could have made money from that. But she didn't care. Watch this. And Jesus didn't mind it. Does it make sense what I'm saying? When you are on the level to worship Jesus and not care about what people think and what they got to say, Jesus likes that. I'm going to tell you that he likes it. Watch this. Because the book lets me know when you read it in the scripture, in Matthew 26, the Bible lets us know that she did this. But go down and watch this. In verses 12, the Bible says, For in that she hath poured in this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, verse 13, look at it. Verily I say unto you, Rather soever the gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. This is the level that she was on. I did this in front of people and I don't care. And I'm going to do this in front of your face. I don't care. And what does Jesus say? Because you like that with me, I'm going to tell everybody about you. I want to be on the level that Jesus talks about me to anybody. I want to be on the level that Jesus says, that's my beloved. I want to be on the level that Jesus said, wherever I go, I'm going to mention your name. Because that's my boy right there. That's somebody that loves me right there. That's somebody on a different level right there. That's somebody I talk about. I pray go. That's my 
does he talk about you? I want to be on the level that he talk about me. Amen. Right. Mention me. Yes. Talk about me, God. I don't want to talk about myself, but I want God to talk about me. Amen. Talk about me, Jesus. Bring up my name, Lord. I want to be on that level. I want to be on that level. She was on the level totally different. And Paul, again, he's on the level that he teaches us. He's letting us know from Philippians 3 and 10. And this, so that I may know him. And he amplified, blows it up experimentally, becoming more thoroughly acquainted with him. Understanding the remarkable wonders of his person more completely. And that in the same way experience the power of his resurrection, which overflows and is active in believers. And that I may share the fellowship of his sufferings by being continually conformed inwardly into his likeness, even to his death, dying as he did. The Bible says, so that I may attain to the resurrection that will raise me from the dead. He lets us know people of God. He wants to be on the level. He wants to be on the level with his Savior. To be able to say just like he died, I shall die too. I'm with my God. I love him. I'm on that level of a relationship. The question is, where is your relationship level? Where is your relationship level, brother and sister? If you're here today, let us know. Where is the level of your relationship? The spiritual illustrations. Where is the level? Or what level is your relationship? Is it surface? Is it the same relationship it was last year? Or the year before that? What level is your relationship on? Are you thinking that you were in love with him? But when you're tested, your love goes another way. Are you on the relationship level that you always like being around him? Or is it sometime? Or is it when you can make the time? What level is your relationship on? If you're here today, we'll lift up our hands. I pray that you will be saved tomorrow. That God will give us the day to see. But today that you hear his voice, he that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Ask them, where do they think their relationship with me is? What level do they think they're with me? God, give us the grace and the mercy and the kindness that we can reach a higher level with you. Don't know much about love except for what you talk about. All right. yes. Father, I don't try to talk about myself. I'll give examples. But I'll let others do the talking. I'll let my pastor do the talking. I'll let my leadership do the talking. How do you feel about me? Am I stubborn? Yes. Am I not really submitting? Yes. Jesus. Am I back and forth with my submission? Yes. Is there some things that I will submit and some things that I won't? Yes. Jesus. Where am I now going with you? Yes. As my prayers become babbling, yes. are they superficial? Do I think that I'm really consecrated and I'm not? Am I claiming that I love you in words, yes. but my heart is far from you?
But then later I turn around and don't show any effort to come and see you, to be in the house of God, to be in your presence. And I robbed you with my tithes and offerings. You bless me with a job, but I don't want to give anything to you. You give me health and strength to get to the job. You're giving me favor on the job. But my relationship with you is not real. I will rob you. I will rob you and leave you. Where is your relationship, brother and sister, mother and elder? Yes. Where is your relationship? Yes. Are you basing your relationship off of your thinking, your mind? Yes. Can the preacher even talk to you yes. without you already having your position? Yes. Don't look at the man. Don't look at the age. Yes. The office is older than you. God is trying to talk to us as a body, as a church, and as individuals. What level is our relationship with God? If we can lift up our hands as we get ready to go. Leaders, if you begin to help those that are at this altar that want their level of relationship to change. And it changes when God tells us, deny yourself your cross and he says follow me yes. that's how you're going to start your relationship bring me a repentance yes. show that you're turning yes. show that you're changing yes. show that you're repenting yes. show it in your actions yes. that this is about to change my relationship with yes. God is getting ready to change Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you tonight yes. on this youth night, God, yes. that we are hearing the message of part two, the level of my relationship, God. I want to be able to worship you in spirit and in truth. I want to show my affection to you. I want to show you I love you by keeping your commands. I want to show you, God, I want to show you, God, more than just tell you, God. I'm sorry for how I treated you. I'm sorry, God, for what I've done. Sometimes, God, we're working so much that we miss things, oh God. Forgive us for missing those things. Forgive us, oh God, for missing those things. We're so worried about ourselves, God. But we're not worried about others. We're not worried about you, God. I'm asking that you please cut out that transgression. Cut out that iniquity right there, God. Lord God, remove that thing so I can draw closer to you. That I can love on you, Jesus. You're knocking at the door, God, and you've been waiting at the door. And God, right when I come to the door like the Song of Solomon, God, you come to the door, and God, one day, you're not going to be at the door knocking when I open it. Because I took too long, God. I took too long, God. I took too long to draw closer. I'm asking that you lay your hand upon us tonight, God. On every elder and mother, every elder and mother, every mother and elder, every brother and sister, every leader, every minister, every father, every mother, God, every husband, every wife, God, every young person, God, every young adult, God, that's in the room, God, that will hear this message, that they will see themselves according to the word of God as a mirror. Show us, God, what level are we at, God? And are we deceiving ourselves? But no more deception. No more manipulation. I want to draw near. I want to draw near God. Take my relationship to another level. I want to be like Peter. Make me to come and bless you. If you want me to come out of the boat, God. If you want your son to come out of that comfortable place.
Talk to me. 